I don't know about you guys, but in the past, um, when a mechanic or dealership calls me, especially a dealership calls me to say their in-cabin air filter needs replacement, and I'd be like, what is that? Why? Sounds like a rip-off, man. No. Uh, but now that I've grown up, <laughs> um, I realize it is uh, an actual thing that needs to be replaced, and looking at that thing on the screen, it's disgusting, um, especially if you think um, you're breathing uh, that in with your family. So things need replacing. So in this quick video, which has taken me more time to edit than actually replacing the air filter, um, I'm going to show you a quick video on how to replace an uh, in-cabin air filter on a Ford Territory. Mine's a 2010 model, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're all the same. It could be the same in all Falcons as well, I'd say. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll carry on. So on my particular model, um, the in-cabin air filter is under the glove glove box or behind the glove box. So on the passenger side, open up the glove box. Um, on the left, you've got um, these plastic holders, I suppose, that hold the glove box in. You're just pushing those inwards um, to drop the glove box down. Pretty simple. Um, it feels stiff, but if you pull them at both sides, they'll, the glove box will drop down, and then it just comes off the hinges like that. So you just pull it off, down, and that's basically it exposes the um, in-cabin air filter that's it there so that fin is what you can open there's a push to the left to open and then you can pull it out basically so that's that um, that's the holder that keeps the air filter in place now you've got to grab um, usually there's like a bit of string or something that, that is on the filter that allows you to pull it out. This one doesn't have it, so I'm just trying to grab whatever I can here to pull. And oh, here we go, got it. Uh, it's pretty hard with one hand, but look, wow. Look at that, that's pretty disgusting. That looks like it's the original one. Could be, maybe, not sure, but that's terrible. Um, looks like something that would be on the outside of a car, really, doesn't it? Um, and I guess it is facing outside somehow, not sure. Anyway, so that's terrible. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, let's replace this thing. Um, bad, bad, bad. So here is the new one. I've got a Ryko one. I went with one of, uh, like a uh, pretty good brand. Um, this was pretty cheap on eBay. Uh, pretty much half the price than the stores, local stores, so grab that, came to me pretty quickly as well, so um, here it is, brand new, um, it's even got um, the plastic holder that clips it in place as well, but brand new, so you replace that while you're at it, here we go, here's the comparison, so the old and the new, wow, and that's the new plastic clip or holder slots it in place so it's a no-brainer let's replace this one put the new one back in so as you can see there just seeing if there's any other dirt or leaves in there um, there's only one way that's on that's at the bottom and the, there's the little holder I was talking about usually in place so slide it in like that with the holder or pull lever whatever you want to call it slide it in just doing it with this with one hand so it's a bit awkward um, get in there get in there just have to put the phone down guys um, just to push it in a bit more there we go that's it just make sure it's in firmly and there's your little um, strip to pull it out next time let's put the holder in place now I'm doing with this with one hand as well so I'll give it a shot and I may have to put it down okay so it only goes one way there's an open and close there showing you which direction there's see those um, 
I guess he pulls teeth or something. They marry up, so what you've got to do is make sure it clips in and then you close it, pushing, sliding towards the right. Um, let me put this phone down for a second and um, I'll have to make sure I get it properly. Okay, that's it. It's in. Um, put the glove box back on its hinges. Now, when you put it back on, it clips in. You'll hear it. You've got to push it down to make it click. That side, both sides, and then the plastic holders there, they just slide in. You just push them in a little bit and they slide in all the way up. There you go, bingo, bango. Murdy. Closed. Done. In cabin air filter replaced. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe um, and like or comment. Um, so enjoy your day. Thanks again.